everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for joining me today. I picked up some pretty cool stuff in a few little thrift stores, and then I got some really nice stuff in Savers. So first of all, let's have a look at this. I have been looking for one of these for a really, really long time. Now I got this in a pawn store and I like to go to pawn stores. I have some good relationships with a few local pawn stores. Sometimes you can find costume jewelry, you know, but uh, this was something that just happened to be sitting in the case at the pawn store. And it's an awesome magnifying glass. It is plastic and it's not in perfect condition. It's a little bit scratched up, but I can really see through it anyhow. So I just love this. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess just a design. I thought at first it was a bat, but this is all sterling and he charged me 20 for this and I was so happy to find this. So this is just a great necklace I can wear while I'm sourcing and I can just take a look to see what, what things are marked. So I'm really excited about this. It's functional. Oops, <laughs> it's getting away from me here. It's functional and also I think really beautiful. Here's some interesting things. This thrift store is not that cheap. So I got this uh, $3, okay, not terrible, right? Now this one is hard to date. I mean, it has a deco look to it. I don't think it is from that period, however, but I don't know, it's kind of tough to tell. I also don't think this is Bakelite. I don't think it's Bakelite because of the weight, but I have my Simichrome polish, so we might as well just test it real fast, right? They had a lot of plastic jewelry like this, like a lot. So I thought these were also interesting. Sorry, oops, these are going the wrong way. So I paid $2 for these. And I think these are too light to be Bakelite also. Okay, you're not really getting the full effect because <laughs> I can't get my stuff together here. Anyway, you get the idea. So we'll test these two just in case. So that was three, this was two. And then this little honey was there. How about this? So this is immediately recognizable as Betsy Johnson because of course it is, there she is. And this is pretty cool. Whoa, this one was 10, right? Cause they knew this one was special as heck and they are right. I got this sterling silver bracelet because it's so heavy. It's really unbelievably heavy. This is a very nice catch, isn't it? some really nice work on this. I like this one a lot. And then I got this little thing. So the ladies know in there that this is kind of pretty. So it's $4, but they don't know that that is probably amber. It sure looks like amber. So let's see if we can get this to fluoresce. I'm going to turn off my light here and we'll see. Yeah, it does. Let me pick it up. Hold on. See that? So that's amber. I mean, I could tell anyway, I already knew it was amber, but that's a very sweet little thing, isn't it? That's great. Without the black light, with the black light. Just a cute little thing. I certainly thought it was worth $4, that's for sure. Let's give these pieces a test. I would be shocked if these were Bakelite. I really would be, but you know, you never know. That's why we test them. I am wrong sometimes, you know, for sure. So here's our Simichrome polish. This is available on Amazon for, I don't know, six or $7. And one tube will last you a lifetime. Whoa, 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 a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit on both tips here and then we shall see. One thing that you can't really do with Bakelite is test the black with Simichrome polish because, I don't know, it doesn't work for some reason. So we'll just check this yellow right here and put some nice pressure here. If this is Bakelite, this Simichrome polish won't be pink anymore. It will be yellowish. Let's see, drum roll please. Oh, hold on. Huh, that is strange. All right, I'm gonna try that again. But now let's move on to our earrings. These I don't think are Bakelite either because they're too light. So we'll just do, do it on the back here, a nice inconspicuous spot. Let's see what we get here. Oh, really? Huh. Really? Well, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised about that. 
I am actually surprised. It's also a little bit suspicious because <laughs> that's kind of the same color as these earrings. Hey, um, well, this may be Bakelite. Like one thing I thought it's the right color to be Bakelite, but so let's just try this silly thing again. And let's see, put some nice pressure on it. And this really is a very, very cool brooch, right? And it has that deco look because of its kind of geometric thing. And okay, so we're going to call that negative for sure. But here's the positive one, I think. I'll just look further into it. So one way I'm going to look further into these earrings, just because I'm not sure about these, but one way I'll look further is I'm going to run these under very hot tap water and give them a smell. And if they smell like formaldehyde, then they are, in fact, Bakelite. Geez, now I'm, I'm wondering if I should have bought some more of that plastic jewelry that they had, because they did have a lot of it. But I thought these two pieces were the coolest of everything. I just got back from the kitchen sink. These are confirmed Bakelite. These give off a very, very strong chemical odor. These are cool, right? I mean, I just got them because I really, really like the way they looked. I think these are really awesome. So Bakelite. Bakelite and Amber. It's a good thing, right? I just took the price tag off of this and I noticed there was a mark on it. It says something I've never seen before. It says RK2, the backwards R. So I have no idea what that is. I'm certainly gonna check it out. It's not magnetic. It might be gold plated, it might be gold. So we will uh, test this one in our next testing video. So stay tuned for that. Testing videos I do when I just have a bunch of stuff and I just stick it in this bag and then I take it out and I test it with you. You can watch me do it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is gold. I don't know if anybody knows what RK2 means though. Let me know, could just be the maker. Not sure, beautiful, beautiful carved amber piece though. In any event, I love this one. This was a dollar in a thrift store and I have a sneaking suspicion that this may be 14 karat gold. I did find a similar one. Well, they're earrings on eBay. I'm gonna put those on now so you can see what I mean. So I don't know for sure that this is gold. I don't know for sure if this is that same designer, but I will put this in my testing bag and we'll test this at a later date. It's very lovely. One thing that makes me sort of think that maybe it's real gold is its weight. It's so, so light. So that may be indicative of real gold. The other thing is it really looks like it's gold and I don't see any sort of wearing away of any of the gold, um, you know, maybe gold tone, I don't know. We're gonna check it though. It's certainly pretty in any event and worth the dollar I paid. This is really pretty. This is very interesting. I don't know who Ricardo de Syracusa is, but it is, a, well, it's a key chain thing right now, but this certainly could be worn as a pendant. I don't see why not. So these were 50 cents each. And there are all these like pictures in here sort of like mini postcards, I guess. Kind of interesting, right? I thought this was unusual. And then in the back, it just says what each place is. Interesting, very interesting. So in a different thrift store, they just had a bunch of necklaces, really uh, cheap ones hanging down. And when I picked this out, I said, wow, that certainly looks like gold to me. And it is. Now, I couldn't see without my um, magnifying glass that that said 750, which is, of course, 18 karat gold. But what I could see is just that shape. You know, from a distance, I saw that shape and I kind of knew already that that was going to say 750. So I paid $2 for this necklace. Now, I didn't think this was real at first, but this one is 18 karat gold also. So I guess this does go together. Now, unfortunately, oops, it wasn't like that before. Sorry. But these do get these weird kind of kinks in them, and I don't think they can be straightened out once that happens. See that? It looks actually like somebody maybe tried to repair that or something. Oh, maybe that was just uh, stuff on it. I don't know. But uh, what I will probably do is bring this to my guy and just sell the chain part from Melt. 
but I think this this Jesus pendant right here is worth a little bit of money. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to melt this and I don't know, I might be able to get like 150 or something like that between the two of these pieces, maybe more. So that was a really great buy at $2, really a lucky find. But, you know, knowing these little things, like I'm the person who is going to actually look through the junk when I see those necklaces and believe me, they were plastic. They were not anything good, but I'm the one who's going to take that little bit of extra time and not just overlook it. And when I saw that shape, I knew that that was probably something good. Even though I couldn't see it, you know, for $2, I'm going to just take it first, ask questions later kind of thing. So got nice and lucky with a nice 18 karat gold necklace for $2. At that same thrift store, she sold me this set. I just think these are beautiful. Brand new, as you can see. This is like more modern Monet. Monet makes beautiful, beautiful things. So I got the, the earrings and this necklace for $3 for the set. But how pretty is this? Look at this necklace. Isn't that nice? I thought that was a quite nice set. I just love this. Look at how nice that would lay on your neck. Isn't that pretty? I got both of these for three. Really, really beautiful. Wow, how girly and nice. Look at nice and shiny really in beautiful condition. So I got that set. Then I bought these for myself just to wear. I don't think these are vintage. But one thing I love about these is they're massive. And I also really like the fact that they're very, very, very light. I notice that heavy earrings as I get older, um, I don't know, they get like tiring or something. Like they just sort of get irritating after wearing them for several hours. So I really just like that these were a cool style and nice and light. So those are just for me to keep. These were a dollar. Then I found this in a thrift store that I like to go to a lot. I'm very, very friendly with the ladies in there. And so she said, you know, we just got this bag of sterling in. Do you want to take a look at it? And then I said, yes, please, you know, and out she pulls this thing right here. This is very heavy, very cool, very obviously sterling. This is 925 right there. So I said to her, I would really like to have that bracelet. What do you think would be a fair price? And she said, I will sell it to you for 20. So I bought this for 20. I really love this. Isn't that cool? I just love the whole shape of it. I think it's got a whole mod thing. Just really pretty details in this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or sell it. I might wear it for a while and then sell it. So then at the same thrift store where I bought that magnifying glass, he said he had a lot of sterling silver earrings and they were $5 a pair. So I paid 60 something, I think for everything, including that necklace. So these are all the ones I picked out. So that's five, 10, look at those. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70 for that, including that necklace. So uh, then he knocked some money off. And I just thought that these would, you know, sell for certainly more than five, right? So I'm probably going to put these up for 20 or 25 or something like that. If anybody wants a pair, just let me know. Uh, my email is IamTheFunkyPickle at gmail.com. Look at those. What are those little opals? Super nice. Let's see if these are signed. I didn't even take them off the card yet. <laughs> um, let's see. Sterling. Okay, let's just look at the other one just in case. I don't know. It might be native. What do you think? Oh, who are you? ZZ. I actually think I've seen that before. Well, I'll take a look first. You know, maybe some of these are better than others. But I think these are really pretty, like even these, you know, and I figured to myself, I said, well, if some of these don't sell on eBay, maybe it's not worthwhile. They would certainly make really cute Christmas gifts for people too, like stocking stuff or kind of things, you know. So that's what I was sort of thinking about when I uh, when I was picking these out. So great price on these. I might keep these for myself. How many? I think I have three pairs of these, right? I might keep these really pretty inlaid. I wonder if these are marked. Hold on. Let's just see. Let us see. 
Hmm. Who, what, who, what, where, when, why? Oh, is that a bird? I see. Who is that? I don't know who that is. It looks like a some sort of a bird. So they, maybe these are native. I mean, I would assume that they're Zuni just because they are. They have this inlay, right? Because the Zunis are known for that. Very, very pretty. This is a difficult process. Anyway, that's that. So let's let's move on now. I want to show you what I bought at Savers because I had a really, really great experience in there. Check this out. So this all happened to me at Savers. Let's take a look at each little thing here. Uh, first up, they had these rings. Now, what do you make of these? They were $1.99 each. They look like they had some age for sure. Kathy, Alice, Margaret. Look with that sort of old time font. I think these might be old. I don't know how old. What do you think? 1960s maybe to make made to look old? I don't know. Maybe they're older. You think they're from the 40s? Boy, I'm just not really sure. They're cool though. They're really cool. Look, don't you like that? I really do. So uh, these were $1.99 each. I had a 20% coupon because I donated some stuff. And I got these just because, I don't know, I thought they were kind of neat for $2 each. And here's another little ring I picked up. This is a nice, pretty old ring, purple stones. And this one I think was, oh, $3.99. But I thought this was uh, nice and old and very, very pretty. I just love this sort of twisted brass. Love that. I got this because it's got that deco vibe to it. Of course, this isn't old. How much was this one? Oh, 99 cents. Yeah, the price has really made no kind of sense. But I love this. Look at it. Isn't it cool? I think this is pretty gorgeous. And so it fits me too. My, my big old piano playing man hands. So I love this and it looks antique and I just think that it's incredible. So I thought that was pretty cool for 99 cents, right? And then I got this ring. So I saw this and I said, oh, I need those pearls. I definitely need those pearls. I don't know if they're half seed pearls or whole seed pearls, but I'm always looking for these. And then it was $1.99, not old or anything, but it's really, really, really cute. Look, isn't that nice? So I'll probably just end up selling this one. It does actually fit my pinky, but I thought that one was, was really nice. Even though it's not particularly old, I do think that it's really great. It's nice and big and I mean, not size wise, but you know, just ring wise, I think it's a very cool item. And then look at this. I mean, when I saw this, like I could tell that it's not that old. It's, it's made to look older than it is. And it's by this company, Miracle. Have you guys ever seen this before? I have. I know I've sold it before. I don't know anything about their history. Um, but I know this isn't kind of, it's trying to look like that check glass thing, but I don't think it is. It is glass, however. And I think this is really stunning. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. So I got this because it was, ah, yeah, all right, $7.99. But again, I had a 20% coupon. So I thought this was pretty magnificent. Do you love it? I actually really, really love it. I love yellow. I really think yellow is so cheerful and so pretty. Then I picked up this little brooch. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty strange in a great way. There's probably supposed to be two of them, right? Is this a comedy tragedy thing? And I lost its little ticket, but I think this one might have been $2.99 or $1.99. Not in perfect shape, but I thought that it was <laughs> kind of cool. So I'm going to put this with my weird and wonderful jewelry collection. I have a video on some of my, my more unusual pieces. If you want to check that out, please do. I'll link it below. And then I got this because I think this one kind of rocks. This is a great champagne glass. Look at the little bubbles coming out. Not old. I didn't see a mark on it. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of times when you go to Savers, by the way, these are folded like this because other collectors were there before and they checked out to see if it was signed. So I don't see a signature on it. 
but I really do uh, like it and it was $3.99. Pretty cool, right? And oh yeah, these. So check these out. These are beautiful, aren't they? And I love these little dangles. It is missing some of their dangles. Let me pull them off the card, hold on. These were 99 cents. I just think they're old and I think they're really, really wonderful. I love this guilloche enameling here. I just love it. It looks like a Tiffany lamp almost, right? With one of those shades, but it is missing some of its danglies. Still very cool, however, not signed by anybody. But hey, for 99 cents, I thought that was a good price, even with the damage, right? I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I think somebody would wear these and not be too bothered by that, that uh, some of the missing little bits there. So that, ooh, look at the crystal necklaces. Watch this. Wow. So there are glass crystal necklaces and then there are glass crystal necklaces and this one is a glass crystal necklace look at the shape of these beads how fantastic is this and this was okay yeah 9.99 well that makes sense sterling findings and i just love this graduated beads very very interesting is this called conical or con conical how do you say that? I don't even know if that is actually what it is. What is this shape? Like a cone, right? I think so. Almost looks like Christmas trees. Well, I love this. And then they had another one that must have been the same donation because there's a similar one, which is this one, which is cube shaped. How cool is this? I love this thing. And this one was less, I think. Yeah, this one was seven, seven ninety nine really great barrel clasp. I love this. I love the spacer beads. I love everything about this. Look at that. On a chain, right? Sometimes the nicer ones are not on thread. Sometimes they are on chain, which this one is too. Yeah, I just love both of these. I really, really do. Those are beautiful, beautiful pieces. And then I got this. So this one was... 99 cents. <laughs> the price has made no sense. So this is kind of got that Indian thing, right? Like the belly dancer thing. And then it came with the matching ring, which is good because I think I'm going to take this stone out of there and put it in there so I can have this necklace be complete. I love this. Look at that movement. Wonderful colors, right? These are very typical colors for this type of jewelry. Really great. And it should be adjustable right here by this. Yeah, so this this thing pulls down, right? So you can change the length of it. I thought this was very special, very glittery. I just love this whole, this whole vibe. Love that. I got two fantastic statement necklaces. So this style is called Coochie. So this is a big old Coochie statement necklace. I believe the Kuchi are from Afghanistan and they make a lot of jewelry like this. I don't know if this is old or not. It kind of seems like it is, but I'm not sure. I just bought this to wear because I think it's outstanding. And these are some hand blown glass beads, the metal, the wood, obviously. So this was $40. I know, not that cheap, but I, like I said, I did have that 20% coupon. So that means this was $32. And, you know, I'm going to wear it. So I just love it. And we're going to put this definitely on our necklace holder thing. And we'll have a look at it in action. It's very, very long too. But I love this. I don't know. It might even have some, some nice age on it. Not sure. But let's have a look at it on our model. I had to shorten this one up quite a bit so it would fit on this thing here. It really should be on a mannequin because it is really long. What do you think? Do you like it? I really, really do like it. But I realize this is not everybody's thing. This is definitely not something a lot of people can pull off. I, however, can, and I will. I think it's really unusual. This one is pretty much amazing, wouldn't you say? This is fantastic. 
That may be real lapis. It looks like it is. But as you can see, this is just massive. I love the movement. I love the colors. I just love everything about this. And this one is, of course, another coochie necklace. Just very gigantic. And I'm really, really going to enjoy wearing this one a lot. So let's take a look at this one, too, on the necklace model so you can get the full effect. This is much, much longer, too. And it's not really showing, I think, as pretty as it is. I'm just crazy about this. And it's not that heavy either, surprisingly, you know? So uh, this one was $50, but I had the 20% coupon, so it was 40 plus tax. I love that one. This one I'm really crazy about. What do you think? Is it too much? I don't know. It's not for me. It's not too much for me. I'll definitely wear it. Let's move on. So what do you make of this? This is not jewelry, but I thought it was sort of interesting. It comes in this box. It's so weird. Maybe it's only weird to me. I've never heard of such a thing. So how to use nips. Nips are made of plastine, harmless, dull breaking. Hold nip horizontally between thumb and forefinger. Snap off slender end with other hand. Keep nip horizontal and snap off slender end. Tilt nip and touch forefinger of other hand. Perfume drop will flow out. Return nip to horizontal position while applying perfume to pulse spots. Repeat several times until nip is empty. Look at this. Isn't this interesting and so weird? Okay. So I was able to get it out somewhat. <laughs> so here's all these different things of perfume. White lilac. Has anyone ever seen anything like this? I never have. Evening in Paris. Carnation. Huh. Celestial. So I guess you break off the end and then you put this on your wrist. I've never seen such a thing. I was just curious if anybody had. And let me see what this is. Hold on. Um, I'll try to get this out without ripping the box. Yeah, hold on. There's no name brand or anything, so I just don't know what it, what it is. What is that? Oh, maybe there is a name brand. What does that say? Lermer? Huh. Boy, I really have no idea. So I guess you would put these nibs in, in here. I just thought this was a curiosity and kind of an interesting thing. If anybody's ever seen anything like this, let me know pretty interesting though and nice and old i mean what do you think the 50s or 60s on this 40s i'm not sure pretty unusual and i have another thing here that is very very unusual let's check out the one last thing i got not um this last thing is not jewelry either so everybody hold on to their jealousy here because everybody is gonna want this this is my gold plated chow hound. <laughs> Look at this for olives or d'oeuvres. It's a conversation piece. Yes, you stick the hot dog right there, you see, between this hot dog, and then you put olives and toothpicks on it. You know we're going to do this, right? Yes. Oh, heck, yes, we are. So let's have a look at our chow hound in action here. I'm definitely going to have this and do this next time we have company. You know I'm going to do it. Let's see what kind of munchies I have. I hope I have stuff I can put on toothpicks. I'm going to have a look in my fridge. Hold on. So let's see what we got here. I put a hot dog there. I think that hot dog maybe is too long, but that's the only one we have. We actually don't really eat hot dogs very much. But let's see, I also have some frilly toothpicks, you know. So I just picked some stuff out of the fridge here. Let's see what we can do. Um, oh, I see, they shouldn't really probably be frilly ones. Well, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it's a hot dog. I had some red peppers in there. So let's see, I think this might add some nice color. Oh, Martha Stewart, you're gonna eat your heart out right now, aren't you? I know you are, because this is such a classy, classy thing. <laughs> what do you think? It's kind of cool, right? Or is it just absolutely gross? I think it's kind of gross, and that's kind of what I'm digging about it. I don't know. I would love to have people over 
<laughs> and, and have some hors d'oeuvres in this hot dog. You know what I think you should do, right? You should probably like put, put a bunch of things on here. See, this is not really my wheelhouse, but let's see. We'll put like, yeah, this would look better if you put more stuff on. What do you think? An olive on the end? All right. There it is. <laughs> I love it. I love my hot dog. Oh, oh, he's going to fall. Well, thank you so much for coming to my video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my jewelry, and I hope also you enjoyed my gold-plated chow hound. Isn't he cute? Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a great day. I really hope this video made you smile. Let me know what items were your favorite. All right, I'll catch you soon. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.